What is going on YouTube? Hit back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP to USD. As you guys know, yesterday we did um, some very interesting stuff. We were discussing the very important dip that was starting to happen within the market. And today is a continuation of that dip. And I wanted to specifically talk about the very, very, very big drops that are happening, not only within XRP, a massive drop to the downside. It's also happening within Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as Litecoin. I want to discuss all of these movements right here uh, talk about potential buy-in uh, orders when to sell when to buy how low we're going to go how high we can be moving to all these questions will be answered in today's video and if you guys are new to the channel definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up and let's jump to today's episode so guys, really quick, before we jump into the technical analysis, we did make a video yesterday in regards to buying the dip, and I just wanted to share something with you guys. So I've decided to basically, and as you guys should know, keep all of my trades and all of my positions. If you guys were interested in understanding those, if you click on the description right here, you'll be brought to, where is it? My Patreon, which is right here, gain access to all my charts. If you click this link and sign up, that's going to be where you guys can see all of my technical analysis um, trades and all of the positions I open and close on Patreon. That's going to be specifically made for that content. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check that out. Now, in regards to the current channel right now, yesterday was the discussion of the buying the dip, seeing the bottom. When are we going to swing back upwards? So in today's video, that's what I want to discuss. You guys can see top 10 cryptos once again are still down. We had a little bit of a bounce off of a support and then we head back up and immediately correct down lower. This is something that I want to discuss and go over in regards to whether or not we are going to be heading higher very soon, whether or not this is the bottom, and whether or not we should be buying the discount that the market is heavily um, taking a, a toll on. So just to jump into the technical analysis, you guys can see XRP clear as day, what exactly is going on. So we had an uptrend that we've been following for weeks now on the channel. This uptrend has been holding true for quite some time, and eventually we did decide to ascend from that. Now we did kind of cap off at a resistance. We can move this up ever so slightly, and if we just slide back to the past, you can see where this resistance has had its due diligence. And we can take into consideration that with this strong resistance up here, we were probably not going to hold and we we're probably looking to pull back down to a support. Now, I was anticipating somewhere around 30 cents. We actually broke down to the original support that we had on this uptrend right here, this uptrend that's been started since the beginning of the year, this uptrend that's been holding true for quite some time now. You can see we immediately corrected back down to here. So honestly, 27 cents seems to be what I think will be the lowest the coin wants to go. And I think after immediately retesting this, we should expect to see a bounce off to here. And we're probably going to see this movement happen over and over again as we you know, consolidate up battling the 33 cent resistance resistance that is on XRP. So honestly, this level right here, these are great buys for um, XRP. If you were continue considering to, you know, uh, expect the coin to rise back up, I would probably sell off back again at 33 cents, but to buy in anywhere between the price now and about 27 cents seems to be the ideal number on the coin. Now to just jump into the other cryptocurrencies, that is Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as Litecoin here, some very interesting movements to discuss as well. So we know that there was some sort of ascending wedge forming on all these cryptos, specifically Bitcoin, specifically Litecoin. We know that we broke bearish from that and actually fell lower, and we we're trying to figure out how low this could potentially fall down to. Now, ultimately, pulling us back to 50 on the RSI is great. This is exactly where we need to go in order to pump higher. And I'm also noticing that we do also have a January or early uh, 2020 support that it was started all the way up here, this uptrend right here, and you can clearly see where we We've retested this numerous times over and over, and you can see that the price is pretty much falling right back down to there, similar to what happened on XRP. And there's a very high chance that this is going to be the bottom as we head up higher. And I've said over and over again in the videos, whenever we hit support on this line, that's the great buying opportunity. Don't miss out on that. These are going to be it. If you want specifics as to when I'm buying in, you can definitely check out my Patreon that I showed you guys earlier in the video. And then in regards to when to be buying in long, I do think we look really good on Bitcoin. I drew this purple uptrend to kind of separate us from the ascending wedge that was forming here. And you'll notice we have one, two, three, and then four confirmations of the higher lows being set. And ultimately, I really do think this is the bottom. And if you guys were interested in the position that I'm going to be making on Dudex, you can check that out down below. It's 
pretty cool. Uh, it is linked in the Patreon, and I did talk about it a little bit yesterday, but you can see it looks like we're bottoming out on Dudex. You can see right here, one, two, three, four higher lows being reset uh, within this upwards channel right here pulling us all the way back to 50 on the RSI, I really do believe that we're going to swing up at a massive rate very, very, very soon. I do believe this is the, the bottom, and I don't think we're gonna really head much lower because then it would kind of, you know, uh, complicate things in regards to retesting previous uh, resistances. So I don't think we're going to fall that low, and I really do think this is gonna be the bottom. We've had a lot of consolidation, a lot of sideways trading, and now it's finally about time to be buying here. So I am buying long. If you guys wanna know specifically more about that, check the link down below. Um, and if you guys want access to Dudex in order to buy long and leverage trade and you want access to this website, check that out as well. They are offering a great sign up bonus in the description. So definitely make sure to check that out. Now, in regards to Ethereum, we can see that there is a subtle uptrend here. Started back in February, fairly close to to January. This is the start of January. It's slightly longer, but for the most part, this purple uptrend right here seems to be where the key support is on Ethereum. Litecoin, we have this beautiful uptrend, clear retestment of here. Obviously, any point here is a great buying opportunity, in my opinion. I don't think we're going to be heading lower than that. I mean, we consolidated quite a bit. We still look bullish on the high-low MMA. I mean, we're merely just consolidating out, so I do think we're going to head up much higher fairly soon. Bitcoin looks great, too within this uh you know this closing right here we do have that channel and you can see if i just draw out the lengths of the sideways consolidation we have let's see from this movement right here to this one we have about 12 days of uptrend and then this one right here is about also around 12 days this is more or less 10 and then we'll draw the next one right here this one is a Probably a little bit longer. This was about 20 days. I mean, we can shorten this ever so slightly if we wanted to from this point. This is also 12 days, this movement where we break up, hit resistance, and then we consolidate. This is about 12 days of consolidation, 12 days, and this is about 12 days, this region right here. But ultimately, every single time we've retested this purple line for the most part, we end up breaking bullish. Every single time. One, two, we have, you can consider this one to be three. This is the fourth, very high chance we're going to shoot up. I mean, we lowered ourselves all the way down to here. The last time we were this low was right here. And you can see what immediately followed that. Um, so honestly, I really do think that we're going to see some very, very, very bullish moves to the upside fairly soon. Um, to continue, I more so want to look at XRP. This is one of the coins that really had a major, major, major uptick. Something that I, I feel like a lot of people weren't anticipating to see a, you know, almost a I would even consider it a 40% run from the start here. We really haven't had much, um, you know, resistance since then we had this small sideways consolidation but that once again opened us up to about a 25 percent you know extreme bullish move but ultimately considering that we did break extremely bullish and pushed us into an extremely overbought market you have to consider taking this as a lesson learned that just because we fomo buy in it's anticipated to correct back down lower and it's great because we talked about this numerous times in my videos that we're talking about kind of capping off right here. We were talking about the top in reference to the fact that an evening star doji was forming. We were talking about the movement up or the movement down. I called it the biggest move in 2020. And honestly, I think it is definitely one of those. We we're then talking about buying the dip. So it was referenced that we are going to pull back down. This is a massive, massive, massive correction to the downside. I don't know who would you know justify that. It isn't. In two days, we fell 22%. I mean, that's a very, very, very steep drop, if you ask me. Even a 27% drop, that's huge. So ultimately, considering that we did see that major move to the downside, it's probably safe to assume that this is going to be the bottom at around 27 cents, and then we're going to continue to consolidate inside of this you know, uptrend right here using this support, and then eventually, hopefully, breaking that 33 cent barrier and shooting up higher. If I just extend out to the weekly, I mean, this is absolutely wild to see this major wick forming. Um, this almost looks similar to what we've seen in the past. This was in reference to the top and then we had a bottom. This is literally like a spinning dreidel doji. I mean, I think we can look that up. Spinning dreidel um, doji. And let's see what that reference is. Or a dreidel doji. I think that's what it is. Technical analysis. I believe it's, it's, it's called that. Or a spinning top doji. Maybe that is in reference to like a bottom. Yeah, you can see right here is these spinning tops right here. 
very similar to what is going on right now within the market. They usually have a very interesting meaning. Hopefully you guys have followed this in the past. What the heck just happened? Here we go. And uh, it's usually referenced to a reversal or the opposite. You can see right here the close and the open versus the open and the close. It is in reference to a bullish or a bearish spinning top. Opening and closing versus opening and closing. So if we then compare that to XRP opening at 28, closing at uh, a little bit higher. This more so looks bullish than bearish if we consider it. I personally think it's more bullish than bearish. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think this is a bearish uh, candle forming, a bullish one forming? I do think we're gonna continue to intertwine up. I think we're still extremely undervalued on XRP. I think we're headed for an easy 36 to 82 cent uh, you know, increase. So you know, XRP looks really good. Otherwise, that is gonna wrap up today's video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.